fitness professionals have cast a vote already as the squat being the most important exercise for seniors. As physical therapist and a strength and conditioning specialist who spent the last 37 years working with seniors, in my opinion, the heel raise exercise is the most important exercise for seniors to master. And here's why. Whether you like it or not, throughout the day, you're getting up and down from a chair, you're sitting, getting up and down from your bed, you're sitting on a toilet, you're getting in and out of a car. All of that motion requires the motion of a squat. Unfortunately, heel raises are not part of our daily patterns of movement. As a result, 99% of the people that I see over the age of 50 lack the strength and endurance in their calf muscles. So most of you already know, the, but the calf muscles are located at the bottom of the leg, at the back, and these are the muscles that give us the spring in our step, the agility on the court, and the grace on the dance floor. They impact how well you're going to move as you age. We're going to start with the basic heel raise, then cover stepwise progression to an advanced heel raise. And that is the strength that you're going to need if you love to dance, do racket sports, or hike. At the end, stick with me and I'll share a special playlist to offer more ideas to keep you strong and agile. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with the basic heel raise and we simply need a soft surface underfoot and a door frame. So I've chosen to fold my yoga mat in three, fingers touching on the door frame, feet hip width apart and my feet pointing straight ahead. I want my weight to be distributed through the base of the big toe and the fifth toe as I come up. Two. I'm gonna do five of each to demonstrate and I want you to try the same when you do the exercise with me. Great. That covers the basic heel raise. The direction is to always gradually build up to being able to do 15 of any of the ones that I show you. Okay. Once you've gotten to one set of 15, you're going to start building a second set of 15. Once you have that, a third set of 15. You might have noticed that I went rather quickly and that's because our calf muscles are explosive muscles and that's how I'd like you to work them. Okay, let's progress from there. Step two is the basic with an added weight. So just as with the basic, feet pointing straight ahead and light finger touch on the door frame. One, two, three, four, and five. So if you don't have a weighted vest, you can also consider a backpack. You can also consider holding a dumbbell, but that makes it harder because you're now going to be restricted to one handhold for balance. And as well, you will um, have an uneven weight distribution. So on the next progression, and this is a really great progression for individuals that might not have a weighted vest or even dumbbells, because you can use your own body weight to progress. We call this the two up, one down. And so, it's a two up one down, but with gradual shift of weight. So let's do it together. Standing exactly the same as we did earlier, feet hip width apart, toes pointing straight ahead, fingertips on the wall. You're going to come up as you did with the double leg heel raise. You're now gonna transfer 60% of your weight onto the left leg and then come down. Go up with both equal weight, shift, over to the right, 60% and down. Up, shift and down. Up, shift and down. Up, shift and down. Up, shift and down. So this downward component is the eccentric component and that is making it harder and more challenged, challenging for the muscle, but it allows it to build the endurance and strength gradually. And this is the last one, two up, shift and down. All right, that progression, you will find that you can start possibly at, you know, feeling like, oh, I'm shifting 60% and now 70% until you go, Wow, again, I can actually, you know, start lifting my foot off and that's when you're at the next step. And so we will, I want you to lift your foot off. So let's do that one together. It's a two up, one down, 100%. Again, feet hip width apart, 
toes pointing forward, fingertips on the wall. And we're going up, shift, lifting all together. And the foot that we lift, we don't touch the other leg. So that also helps to start building strength in your hip. Shift and down and down, up, shift and down. We're going to one more on each side, up, shift and down and up, shift and down. Perfect. Now, all the while, you want to make sure that when you are weight bearing, that you're feeling the weight at the base of your big toe and your fifth toe. Also keeping your big toe as straight as possible so that if you have any bunions, you're not aggravating them. Our next step is the single leg heel raise. A lot of my clients will say, isn't, you know, they're happy doing the doubles and they're wondering why do they need to do a single? Well, when we walk, we are pushing off one foot at a time and we need that strength. Even when we're going upstairs, it's a push off of a one leg at a time. So that's really your minimal functioning strength. And so let's go build it. So I'm going to transfer all my weight and keep it there as I go up. Two, three, four, and five. And switch to the other side. I hope you're joining me so that you can assess the strength of your calf muscle. Great. And just as with all the other ones, you are going to gradually build to be able to do 15 on each leg. Be patient with yourself. Be sure to stretch the muscle afterwards. So the next progression from the single leg heel raise, you guessed it, it's weighting it down. And so whether you wear a weighted vest, whether you wear a weighted backpack, a weighted belt, or you hold a dumbbell or a combination of them. So let's go do it together. So all the weight on one foot and up and two and three and four and five. If you're holding weight, you probably want to shift hands, even just for the sake of your shoulders and your grip. Two, three, four, and five. All right, last one is for those of you who love to hike, um, because you're going uphill, you want to mimic that motion and allow your heel to drop below the horizon. So let's go explore. So notice um, that we're using the half foam roller uh, the same way would be with your shoe on a step. If you drop down below the horizon, it mimics going up a hill. And so you want to have your calf experience the entire range of motion before you're hiking. So this is how you train the calf muscle so that you don't experience plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, or any of these things while you're just out enjoying your hike. As promised, I really encourage you to check out the playlist because that's where you're going to find the stretches that you need to do after your heel raises. Also, so wonderful for your feet is some self massage, some toe stretches, and all of those things combined are going to surely keep your feet and you strong and agile through the years. Keep well.